Jones. And I'm Tiffany. And today we are cooking Masaman curry lamb shanks. We'll be doing this in the pressure cooker, but you can also use a slow cooker at home. Now, this is one of Mick and my winter warmers. And we're especially delighted to bring this to you since we're severely missing our beef cheeks at City Tavistels Club. Mm. So Nick, can you take us through the ingredients? All right, to start off, we've got four lamb shanks, three tablespoons of flour, we've got just a pinch of pepper, we've got one and a half cups of rice, we got half an onion, which we've diced up. And we've got five potatoes, peeled, sliced and quartered. And we've got four carrots. We've got three tablespoons of olive oil with some extra for braising. Three tablespoons of lime juice, one cinnamon stick, 400 mils of coconut milk, one and a half cups of chicken stock, and two thirds of a cup of pineapple juice, and three teaspoons of fish oil, two thirds of a cup of peanuts. These are unsalted and we've chopped them up. And of course, the most important masamam curry paste. This is around about a third of a cup. And we've also got a little bit of garnish that we've set aside for later. So Nick, let's get started. Okay, so Nicholas, you've got the plain flour, salt and pepper, and you're coating the lamb shanks. How's it going? Uh, good, I've just finished, and now I'm going through them, and making sure I haven't missed any bits. Fantastic. Meanwhile, I'm heating up the pan and the oil so that we can actually brown each of these lamb shanks for four to five minutes. Alright, great job Nicholas. Now that we've finished braising the lamb shanks, we've popped it into the pressure cooker. I'm just going to put the cinnamon stick right at the bottom and now layer in the carrots and the potatoes ready for the next step. Okay, we we'll just set that aside. Nicholas, I've just turned the heat down to medium and we've got enough oil in there at the moment for us to just slowly cook these onions. Mm. Smells good. Yeah, we'll just move them around. We just want them to be soft. You can do that. Yep, browning them up. Keep them moving. Did that pot feel to be hot? Great. Okay, now let's add our musselman paste. Mmm, smelling good. And just move that around. Yep, keep moving it around. Just so that all the onions coated. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Nicholas. There you go. Thank you. Excellent. We can really smell it. Yeah, that's right. So now that that paste is warming up, we can actually put in the lime juice. 
the pineapple juice and the chicken stock This is how we're forming our curry paste. Good. Can you mix that up? I've just got the fish sauce to go. All right. Excellent. Slowly mix it just slowly, up. and we need to bring that to the boil. Okay, so that's come to the boil now. We'll put that aside. And okay, so we're all ready to go with our lamb shanks and our potato, carrot, cinnamon sticks. Now we're just going to pour our broth in. And as you can see, I've already set up the pressure cooker for 25 minutes. If we're using a slow cooker, we'd set this up for six hours. Looks like some people in the family are gonna have a 25 minute nap. While we're doing that, I'll get the rice ready. Okay, so while our musman curry lamb is cooking, I'm going to prepare the rice. And as you remember, we measured out one and a half cups of rice, which is perfect for a family of four for this dish. We often get asked how much water to put in the rice cooker. Well, our family trick is to rinse out the first part of starch and then Fill the water up to our first knuckle. So that's going to be perfect and when it's finished cooking it'll come out nice and fluffy. So I'm just going to put this into the rice cooker, press cook and with any luck it'll be ready around the same time as our muscle and curry. Okay, Nicholas, so we've finished cooking for 25 minutes. I've just put the coconut cream in and the pineapple. Can you hand me the peanuts? Here you go. Excellent. And then I'll save a few, but we're good to go for another five minutes. Once we've put the last ingredients in, if you're using a slow cooker, you just cook for 30 more minutes. But for us, five minutes and then we'll be all set. Well, Nicholas, this is the final result. Mmm, looks yummy. So we've just plated it up with our rice and some garnish. In this case, we've got some dried anchovies, peanuts and chilli and some coriander. Mmm. Hey, you should give Buddy some of this. He'd love it. Well, I don't think we'll give this to Buddy. I think we've got something else for Buddy. Thanks for your help today, Nicholas, and thanks for watching, everyone. Bye! Here you go, buddy. This is for being such a good boy today.